Yeah, uh, really tough game for us this past weekend. Thought our kids went up to Florence, Alabama in a championship environment and played their hearts out. Uh, we played, did a lot of things really well, did some things we'd like to take back, like what happens in most big games. Uh, you know, had a chance right there at the end to win it. Uh, had some, some very unfortunate things happen to it, uh, happen to us, uh, you know, as everybody knows with the, with the fumble that, that got overturned and wasn't a fumble. But, but that's life. You know, you got to be good enough to overcome that. And um, we did some things there at the end to overcome it. We just didn't make it happen uh, all the way. A credit to UNA and their football team for winning a big game. Now, our season's not over. Our season's just beginning. We're five games into, uh, into the season. All our goals are still in front of us, and uh, we've got to continue to improve as a team. We saw a lot of things we're beginning to do better. And uh, we've got a, the biggest game of the year for us coming up uh, versus Valdosta State, our big rival. Uh, it's the game that matters the most to us. So we're, we're in the middle of, of having a great week of practice to go down there and play in a big rivalry. Uh, Valdosta's playing really well right now. They've won two games in a row. And, uh, you know, they beat a really good West Florida team two weeks ago. And they, they blew Kentucky State out this past week. So they're, they're, they're a, a team on the rise that's playing really well. And it should be a great football game. With that, we'll open it up. Coach, what's the hardest part about coming off a close loss and then getting ready to play very next week? I think uh, every, every game has its own – uh, things that are easy to come off of and hard to come off of. I think this game for our players is, uh, you know, it, we, it, it was a very tough loss. You know, the way it ended, uh, you know, the, 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 the two plays that sticks out in everybody's mind, you know, or the, the field goal and the fumble, uh, you know, and, and, and the plays we made to put ourselves in position to win and still not get it done. Uh, that's on me as a head coach. We got to figure out a way to get it done. I think our players have bounced back. The thing that makes it easy is who you're playing next, and, and, and it's the biggest game of the year for our university, our community, our players, our fans, our our janitors. Uh, you know, everybody involved is is that makes it easier is who we're playing this week. Coach Hall, um, with Valdosta State uh, this year only having a 37 percent uh, third down uh, conversion percentage. Uh, do that, does that make you want to bring more pressure on third down defensively? I don't, I don't necessarily think that. Uh, you know, I mean, a team's third down percentage, you know, I don't think that dictates whether you want to pressure them or not. You know, I think, I think the distance that they have to go to get the third down dictates a lot of that. And then how what they do pass protection-wise and all that. Uh, they're a very uh, – you know, pro style passing team, a lot of drop back passing, and uh, they've had some injuries on their O line. Uh, you know, so I know Coach Simons and Coach Aldridge and Coach Hundley are really studying those matchups, and we'll we'll do what we think is best on third down. I'm sure we'll mix it up whether we pressure or not, just like we do every week. But um, the biggest thing is getting them into a a third and long and not a third and short. You know, to try to win those third down uh, matchups. Coach Dr. Marrero commented on the letter the Gulf South Conference sent out regarding the fumble. Um, I'm sure you've seen that. What was your just reaction? Obviously, it doesn't change anything, but what was your yeah. reaction to that? Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. You know, it doesn't change the outcome of the game. Um, it was obviously a big play in the game. It's unfortunate how it happened. Um, but, you know, there's plenty of football left after that play, and we've got to find a way to win the game. Every call is not going to go your way in the game. Uh, that would have been big. That would have put us up 30 to 10 in the fourth quarter, and you'd like to think we'd probably win. Uh, but even after that, we're still sitting there with the lead. And uh, then we drove it all the way down the field right there and had a chance to score a touchdown to win it and, uh, and had a chance to kick a field goal to win it. And early in the game, you know, we had to kick a few field goals. You know, if we score one touchdown right there, we win it. Uh, you know, we had a few turnovers in the third quarter on some shots where if we throw it away right there, uh, we win the game. So. We had plenty of opportunities to win that game. We just didn't get it done. Uh, the big thing, I think, is I think our team saw that we have the ability to be a great team in 2016. You know, so so many times people think, okay, you know, we were great in 2015, so all of a sudden you're just going to be great again in 2016. And the fact of the matter is, you know, teams change every year. You know, uh, it's a totally – it's almost you have a new team every week. We definitely have a new team every year. And uh, this football team's got a chance to be great. We're growing. We have a lot of new guys, a lot of young guys that have been in our program but hadn't played a lot. We're, we're going to be five games in now. And uh, I think we played in a championship environment. Uh, we played 
Uh, statistically, we dominated the game. Uh, we just didn't dominate the scoreboard. So if we can shore up a few things, I think we've got a chance to be really good. Coach, what would you say is the biggest key in trying to slow down the Blazers' offense? Uh, getting pressure on the quarterback is always big because they're a big passing team, you know, and then we got to keep it in front of us and not, not give up big plays. So really the same, you know, that you'd say any week versus any passing team. Uh, Coach Bell's going to throw the football. Everybody knows that. And uh, so we got to make sure their, their passes aren't for big gains. And then we got to try to we got to try to disrupt the passer. Coach, a new regime at Valdosta this year is the, I guess the temperament or what you see out of them a big change from what you've seen the last six years coaching against the previous staff. You know, as far as that, Mitch, it's hard to tell off tape. I think you get a better feel for temperament and how people handle themselves and respond when you actually get into the game. Uh, on film, uh, you know, I think they're, they're a team that, that won their first game versus Albany, a common opponent with us. Uh, they beat Albany worse than we did. And then they, uh, you know, they go on the road to UNA. Uh, played a really good team there. Did not play well that day. Turned it over. Gave UNA some points. And then this past week they've beaten West Florida, who's having a really good year, and then they've blown out Kentucky State. So, I think they're a lot like us from the standpoint of they're better today than they were yesterday and the day before, and they're getting better. And uh, it, it'll be a great game. What do you see defensively out of that? Uh, they very multiple, do a lot of stuff. Uh, you know, all their coaches on defense have been, uh, you know, a lot of them came from, from Florida and Mississippi State. And uh, they were graduate assistants at Division One level under some very multiple guys. And uh, Coach Collins at Florida, who's a great D coordinator, and it was at Mississippi State before that. So they're very multiple. They throw a lot of looks at you, play a lot of different coverages, a lot of different blitzes and those things. The biggest thing they've been able to do is force turnovers and either score with those turnovers or get those turnovers into the scoring zone. Uh, they, they've benefited from a ton of points off, off turnovers they've created defensively. I think West Florida, they forced seven turnovers, scored one of those. Albany State, they forced two turnovers, ran them back inside the red zone to set up their two offensive scores. And uh, so, you know, I mean, their, their defense and forcing turnovers probably won two games for them. Another big game with three yeah. sacks. It's eight sacks in the last three games. Just talk about the level he's playing at right now. Yeah, he's doing a great job rushing the passer. Uh, he's got to be more disciplined in his run game. He knows that. That's some things he's looking to, to, to work on. Uh, he plays extremely hard with tremendous effort, and he's having a lights-out year, and, and he's a warrior. Uh, you know, he, he really is uh, really playing well and trying to lift others up around him as well. Coach, what excites you most about playing these big robbery games? Uh, well, you know, I guess just seeing people's faces, you know, if we're able to come up with the win, you know, the last three times seeing everybody around here in the community around here beating Valdosta, you know, is a big deal to our people and, uh, and, and to our players and to everybody involved. And, uh, you know, that's what we do it for is to try to help. You know, we want, we want to help lift this university up and help drive this university forward and, uh, you know, so that's a responsibility we take very seriously. And, and you know, the Valdosta game, right, wrong, or indifferent, like it or not, is a big player in that. Coach, uh, do you believe uh, coming off the UNA game that it's going to help your team refocus even more for the upcoming game against Valdosta? I don't think so because it's Valdosta. I think that is, you know, I mean, that if we were playing – you know, somebody not very good or something like that, then, then maybe so. But, but there's no way to focus any more on Valdosta than what we already do. You know, I mean, that's, that's the most important game on our schedule. If we were, if we were 0 and 5 or 5 and 0 or 0 and 10, it was the last game of the year, it wouldn't change. Or 10 and 0, it wouldn't change anything with that game. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Go Wolves.